What's up guys? Welcome back to another weekly vlog. This is weekly vlog volume two. I did this last week and um, I think it went well. So I'm just gonna vlog again. Today is Sunday. We are starting a new week. I think it's just gonna be like a typical week in my life in Texas. So I thought that would be good to kind of show. And I just got back from doing some errands. I have a few things to haul, so I wanna show you guys those. Let me grab them. So today is a catch up day. We are um, doing laundry. We're finishing unpacking our house because we still have not finished unpacking. We're organizing the closet. We went and got a bunch of stuff at the store. So um, lots of things and fun activities to be doing. Um, um, wanted to show you guys a few things that I picked up um, first of all my shirt is from Zara I'm actually in love with it it's like a really nice powdery blue material and my pants are from Vince I got them on sale when I was in LA um, however I wanted to show you guys a find that I got I don't know if you guys have seen those like really um, kind of like surfer like high-end visors that are kind of in right now um, but I was at Walmart of all places <laughs> yes Walmart and I found this visor it's kind of like a knockoff of the expensive ones and you guys it is so cute it the brim like goes pretty far out but it is such like a good kind of look for less literally three dollars and fifty cents I could not believe it. Oh, three dollars and ninety-four cents. I'm sorry, but I mean, it is so cute, and I'm definitely gonna sh probably shoot a few pictures in it for Instagram. But I just love it. So it comes like in black, white, pink, this like natural color. So I got the white and the natural, and it's just adorable um, and a really good find because I wouldn't want to spend like a lot of money on like a visor trend. That's just I'm not gonna do that. Um, I also got some makeup products that I've really been wanting to try. I also picked up a few things from Ulta. So uh, anyways, makeup products I've been wanting to try that I picked up from Walmart. Um, one is this Wet n Wild eyeshadow palette. And it honestly reminds me of an exact dupe of the Anastasia modern renaissance palette um so if you have not been wanting to spend the money on that palette wet and wild makes really really good um eyeshadows okay so this palette is called wet and wild color icon rose in the air and just the shadows are so pretty and they look pigmented for the most part. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty good. So I'm really excited to try this out and it's just small and easy to like throw in your bag and like use on an everyday basis. I do like my makeup on the go a lot, like in the car. So I will let you guys know what I think, but I have had really good experience with Wet n Wild palettes in the past. In college, it was like all I used. So I'm excited to give this a shot and it's like all these kind of worn tone colors, a really good mix of matte and just a couple of shimmers. So I'm excited to try this. I also picked up this L'Oreal Paris True Match Lumi Bronze It. I just thought I would try it. It does have shimmer in it, but I thought it was like a nice tone. I've really been liking the Rimmel one that I've been using. I'm wearing it right now. It's really inexpensive, like literally $2. I didn't do a very good job blending it on that side, but um, so I don't know, this has shimmer in it, so it might be a little bit different. I'm gonna try it. And then I also picked up this Hard Candy Plumping Serum Lip Gloss um, in the shade Barely There. Shocker, it's just like a nude. But um, I always love a good nude gloss, and I just, again, I don't know what it has been with like drugstore makeup lately, but I've been really into trying different drugstore um, products. Let's try this. It's just clear and simple. Well, not clear, it's nude, but Hi. I like that. Hi. And um, yeah, that's a really good color. I just like glosses that are just like a light nude that I can throw on and they kind of like mellow out the, the red and pink of my lips a little bit. So I like that, it's like a little tingle. Really nice, they have a ton of different colors, but I think it was only like $5. Okay, next, moving on to Ulta. I only got like three things that are Going to show, I got some hair ties for Hunter. And then I actually went there because I really, really wanted to try the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define um, Concealer. It's kind of like a knockoff of the Tarte Shape Tape, which I've actually never even purchased. So you can see like the wand is really big. 
Um, so it's almost like, I think like a dupe for it and it's only five bucks. Um, and I've heard really good things about it. This brand is like stunning. It is so affordable and they have really good pro products that are really pigmented, really good colors. Like, and they kind of like dupe a lot of really expensive brands. So, um, I've been trying some stuff from them and just interested in like trying like their highlighters or, and I've heard really good things about this concealer. So I'm excited to try this. I'm on the hunt for a really good concealer. I am not sold. I've tried the NARS radiant creamy. I've tried the Too Faced born this way. I've tried, um, so many. I do right now like the Urban Decay weightless or naked weightless like concealer. That's probably my favorite, but I don't know. I just, I always like trying things to like find newer ones and I've heard really good things about this. So I'm hoping that it like does everything that I'm hoping it will do. Um, and then Ulta actually started carrying Morphe. I'm sure everyone already knows that. I just live under a rock, but, um, and I love it cause this Ulta, since I kind of live out to me like in the middle of nowhere um the ulta has like i feel like it's fully in stock like with a lot of like morphe products and like uh, really good things that are normally sold out at a lot of other ultas so i got two morphe brushes this first one is the morphe 518 and it's just like a fluffy blending brush and i really just need like a really good crease brush it feels a little stiff i was hoping for something a little bit more fluffy but it was only like five dollars so i'm gonna give it a shot and then i also got the morphe 504 which is just like a bigger crease brush that is even bigger and more fluffy so we'll see i actually don't own own i don't own any morphe brushes at all so i'm kind of excited to try these out and i've been needing a couple more like crease brushes so that was really convenient. I love that they're there and they actually had a Mac counter in there, um, which I haven't seen at all in Ulta yet. I know that Mac, it was moving into Ulta, but that was the first time I had seen it and it looked really cool. Any of you that are looking to like organize their closet or redo them, redo their closet, um, I just picked up these hangers from Walmart. They are the like velvet hangers and they're just cream with a gold, um, handle but they are like the cheapest i've seen there's 30 hangers for ten dollars or like 9.95 which is so cheap they're normally 50 a pack of 50 for like 30 dollars at like bed bath and beyond or costco so i literally bought like six boxes because they're ten dollars so um i'm hoping that will cover all of my clothes because i need to like hang up everything and just get it done my closet is a disaster um so i'm going to be organizing my closet um but yeah that was a really good find for hangers um, closet update things are looking better um these are what the hangers look like out of the box if anyone is curious um here there's better better lighting but they're just like a cream with a gold thingamajiggy um and i'll link the exact ones below because i know there are a lot of different like brands that make the velvet um hangers but these ones are such a good deal and i like that they don't have some of them have like a little like tab on them i can't describe but it breaks a lot these are just like really simple flat nothing else they're perfect and they even have the little indentations right here if you have straps even though the velvet holds everything so i can't imagine using any other hangers besides that um Anyways, um, so I wanted to show you guys, I actually have this bag from Pretty Little Thing, and I ordered some stuff from there a while back, and I never hauled it, so I thought I would just do like a haul as I'm kind of like unpacking it. All right, so one of the things I got was this big like sweatshirt dress. It's like an oversized sweatshirt dress in the color Sage, and I also got it in just like a cream color and it's really big this was perfect for san francisco like with boots or just like tennis shoes and i was feeling really casual but i think this is gonna be way too hot to wear in texas um which i need to like basically buy a whole new wardrobe because the weather is so much different um so yeah it's just like basically summer weather um it's like if you're living on a tropical island it's just really hot so i need to go shopping but um i also have been wearing these a lot these are just these plain tees they say pretty little thing on it and this is the first time i've ever ordered from there um and it's kind of hit or miss i feel like but it's so cheap and um it's just kind of fun to like order trendier things so i usually just wear this with jeans i kind of roll up the sleeves and what i liked is that um 
I just like the font is really small. It reminded me of, there's like a YSL t-shirt that is like $600 and it says YSL on it in this really like fine print and it just looks really pretty and it's just kind of like a basic t-shirt and I wear basic stuff all the time. So I also got it in this like stone nude color and then I got it in um, a gray color as well which I wore in my get ready with me that I posted last week um so if you guys missed that I will link it so you guys can watch it um but yeah I was wearing the t-shirt in that in that and it's just nice to have like the basic little colors of all the different shirts I also got these cropped hoodies which are so cute I got it in this color and also this like stone color um and actually wear that a lot because i wear like a lot of like i'm a very like comfort driven person so i wear tons of like what i call comfies <laughs> so um it's nice that like they have some like trendier kind of comfort pieces now but like even this like with what the pants i'm wearing now would be so cute like a cream and white combo those are like my favorite colors so um that was nice i also got another little tee that says tuesday on it i kind of like that i normally would like never wear color and i probably like won't even wear this um to be honest but i think it was like eight bucks um i might like wear it to bed but i just thought it was cute like if you ever want a pop of color and just like jeans with like layered necklaces and a bandana in your hair like just to change it up like a little bit um and i kind of i think like another designer did those like days of the week um t-shirts so it's kind of like a knockoff of that um and then i also got a monday one which is like a baby pink which baby pink is really in right now so that's cute but they're all just kind of like that same material they're just like normal tees so they are kind of oversized i got them in a size small um but i wonder if i'll be able to shrink them i don't know but you do definitely have to roll up the sleeves and you can kind of like tuck them in and just like mess with them how you want so um yeah you know that's what i got also got some stuff recently from forever 21 and i can show that as well cute like summer pieces so this dress um was in featured in one of my instagram photos that people really seemed very interested in the dress so um i'll link the dress down below because a lot of people uh, dm'd me asking me for the link um and i actually bought mine in stores so i don't know if it's still available online it might have come back in stock but it's really cute i'll put the instagram photo here so you guys can see it um i also got this really cute just like plain bodycon dress um from forever i think it was like 12 dollars. it's kind of like a midi length and it's just like my favorite cream color it's like ribbed and there's just like a nice tank line perfect for texas weather um and just like a bunch of necklaces and gold jewelry i love that nice and simple i also got this dress before stagecoach which i love and it's just like a little gingham billabong dress but just really really lightweight if you live in a hot weather place or you're going on a trip um it's really cute and i love how skinny the straps are because i think that always like makes things look really delicate and like expensive but um the thicker they are sometimes like unless that's the look that you're going for sometimes it can cheapen it a little bit um so i really thought that one was specifically really nice really cute one from forever it's like a white linen-y material with buttons it's so cute i got it in a size medium it's just really cute it's like a nice length it's um not too like revealing it kind of looks like faithful the brand or like reformation so i thought it was really cute um but yeah so those are some of the things i picked up recently i'll link them all down below i never did like a formal haul i need to be better about that but i was just moving and things were crazy so um i just took a ball of my makeup and i'm actually going to shave my face um now if you're new to my channel which since i made the video on shaving my face i've probably um gotten a lot of new people so yes i shaved my face a lot of people do it it's really common 
with these little um, razors and it's basically for um, exfoliation um, so I have a whole video on like why I do it and what the benefits are and everything so I'll link it below um, or if you want to look it up on my channel it's called how and why I shave my face um, but anyways I'm gonna do it um, tonight and I just got these razors from Amazon I'll link them down below but I basically just Start on the edges and I even go down my neck a little bit I do this like once every I don't know two weeks I probably should do it more often you're actually probably supposed to do it like every day if you really want like the true exfoliation um, but it really helps with anti-aging and getting off like all the dead skin and stuff so I just thought I would show you guys that process since it's been a minute since I talked about this um but yeah and then as an added benefit if you have peach fuzz on your face then it removes all the peach fuzz and your makeup looks like super super smooth and like flawless so those are just a couple of the things that it does for you um but yeah I just thought I would show you guys this is what I'm doing on Sunday night <laughs> good morning it is a Wednesday morning I'm about to start work and I'm currently just ice rolling my face. I ordered this off of Amazon. If you guys have never seen these, they basically, you put them in your freezer and this part stays really cold and it's really good for like inflammation and depuffing. And you basically just roll your face and it like circulates all the blood. It helps with puffiness and it's just like a natural way to kind of circulate things in your face. Um, it's kind of like falls into that category of like facial massage, which is really popular right now, which I really want to get more into, but I'm loving this so far. This part is metal, so it stays really cold. And you always want to roll up because you don't ever want to roll down because gravity's already bringing it all down. I'm just going to be working from home today. Um... Yeah, and I think that Hunter and I might... Oh, that's good. I will link this down below if you guys want to check it out. I think it's literally like $7 on Amazon, but great Amazon find. Um, so yeah, I'm going to start work. I'll catch up with you guys a little bit later. What's up, guys? It is Thursday morning, and Hunter and I are about to start work, so we're headed to Honey Lou's. I know I told you guys I would bring you there last week, so I'm actually bringing you today, but uh, basically, it's a little coffee shop <clears throat> right down the street from our house, which there's not much. It's just like a grocery store and a coffee shop, and the coffee shop just happens to be owned by a Seattle... Um, couple and so they have a lot of craft coffee and like nitro cold brew and um they are gonna they are going to start carrying oat milk which is like my favorite milk non-dairy milk ever um which is really rare and so we kind of live out like a little bit in the country so it's like really random that we have like this craft coffee shop right down the street so it's called honey Lou's and it's like a dog themed coffee shop so couldn't be more perfect um the the a name is named after a wiener dog named Honey Lou. That is like the wiener dog of the family. So it's super cute. I'll bring you guys along. We're gonna grab coffee. We're gonna get some groceries, and then we're coming home. Honey Lou's. We're at Honey Lou's. <laughs> it's really not that exciting, but there's literally nothing around. So good. It is delicious. If you've ever had nitro cold brew, actually I like did not get on the train. I know it's been around for a while, but um it's really smooth. It's like almost like a draft beer, how it's like just really smooth and fresh. That's how it tastes. Like and some cold brews can be kind of bitter because they're really strong. 
<laughs> and we're drinking our cold brew and then we're gonna go to the grocery store and get some snacks for the house and some food. <clears throat> what we really like when we come to Honey Lou's is it's right next to the grocery store. So mm -hmm. we park once, we go to Honey Lou's, we go to the grocery store, get all of our stuff for the day, for the week, and go home. Go. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. We're gonna drink our coffee. home decor update I thought I would share this because it's something that I like learned through the process of decorating our house that I didn't know before and I really like didn't know how to figure it out I just had to figure it out on my own so if anyone might benefit from this tip it would be good so basically we have you have like your normal windows in the house like here is one of our tables and we have windows here which are super tall and we can put um, curtains in those areas but there is a couple of windows in the house that are like really oddly sized and shaped like in the bathrooms that you wouldn't put like normal like draped curtains so I was like well wait what do we put there and I don't want shutters or blinds or like anything like that I just wanted something like softer feeling like a more breezy light fabric um, since <laughs> Like I said in my home decor haul, I want my house to look like Gabali, like villa, even though I've never even been there, but it's fine. Um, so, for instance, here is one of our guest bathrooms. This is one of our guest bathrooms, and when you walk in, you have that, and then you have this window, okay? So the window is like above the toilet, kind of a weird tall shape, and like you wouldn't put curtains above that, because that's just, you know, not that would be weird um, and I don't want to put like I said shutters or anything so I don't want to block all the light out so through my research <laughs> I discovered these things called Roman blinds and I've seen them before in houses but like I I never paid attention to them because I was not like an adult and I just didn't even care but um, they're like the blinds that you put on windows with like the string and you like lower them anyways so I went on a goose chase and I found these blinds for the windows and they're just really pretty like linen material if you can see and you just like pull them up with this cord and then they kind of like raise up and you get them the length of the window and the width of the window. So this is our other guest bathroom that also has kind of like a weird window. Um, anyways, point being was that I had a really really hard time finding not only a solution for the windows but also a good source for Roman blinds I could not find the ones that I wanted anywhere I wanted just simple clean white linen or a simple clean white material I wanted like a linen-y feel so that it was like softer and I went to Home Depot I went to Lowe's and none of them had just like this simple line at the top I wanted it really basic so I ended up going on Etsy and finding this lady that does custom like linen drapes and curtains um, out of Greece actually and I gave her all the dimensions of my windows and she just made them all for me and they're amazing they're like perfect and everything that I wanted I just wanted it super simple and just like a straight line across and then down because I didn't want it to be traditional looking because I feel like those types of shades can tend to get really traditional so I just wanted it really clean anyways I'll leave her store down below and the link to the blinds I doubt anyone's like looking for Roman blinds but I just thought it was a good tip where you can keep it in the back of your head if you buy a house in a couple years and you have some weird windows you'll like know what to do with them also anyone wondering our rug is from Nebraska Furniture Mart. It's like this really pretty oatmeal and gray color. Um, and I will link it down below if I can find it. Um, but yeah, it's like a really nice neutral. I love like oatmeal and grays and everything. I actually think it's kind of a problem because <laughs> I was talking to my friend um, over text the other day and she just bought a house and she's buying decor for it and stuff. And um, she sent me, she's like, okay, hey, which pillows? And then the text message was like, we're all neutral colors, which is like very typical of both of us. Like we love neutrals. 
and she's like they're all beige and I'm like it's fine like they're different they're very different but um we were just laughing how we literally just like everything beige and oatmeal and like cream color and then I'm like oh my god like seriously look at my couch like that is an issue and then to add on top of that look at my hoodie and my headband <laughs> <laughs> it's really bad, but we were like, it looks good, so we don't care. No shame in the in the beige game. A few more house updates, and I, I think I'm gonna make like an official house update video, like um, more like formal, um, that's like dedicated, just because there's so many things I want to show. Like I seriously am having so much fun decorating. Like Hunter and I are like, we should have had. Uh, like careers in like interiors or architecture because we just like enjoy it a lot like not saying like we're good at it We just really really like it. So um, It's really fun and it's been a lot of fun and very expensive, but um, so luckily Hunter and I have like the exact same taste in interior like furniture and everything I would say my opinion's a little more dominant, but, <laughs> but for the most part, we're like always on the same page. That's really nice. Um, we don't have to like go back and forth on that. Anyways, some, some other curtains and drapery that we've gotten, and this is a good tip for like a look for less. Um, so here's our curtains in the main living space, and it's really hard to find um, really long curtains. So these windows are, I think, 108 like we need the 108 length and it's harder to find than you think. Um, sorry, this lighting is really dark. But um, anyway, so these are just like from Ikea and you get two panels for like $39 and they're just kind of like a white cotton linen material, like really basic and that's all I wanted. And the, um, the black rod is from wayfair.com. Just really simple and kind of modern, but we're still playing around with it and trying to figure out if we want the curtains just to hang loose or if we want to put the little tie around them. So what do you guys think? Tied or not tied? Sorry, they kind of look uneven right now, but let me know down in the comments what you prefer, tied or not tied. All right, and then one other of my really, really favorite things, Hunter actually surprised these surprised me with these um because we've both been like hunting for different furniture pieces and stuff but he found these um at a shop in san francisco and they are seriously like my obsession they're like the star of my bedroom <laughs> so here they are and they're like these geode lamps and they're just this beautiful like give for context with my hand you can see like how big they are but um just these amazing um, crystal like lamp rocks and then they sit like on this like frame and then it's just like an oatmeal linen shade which is like absolutely perfect so I just love them especially on like the wood nightstands I think they're so pretty I will like uh, leave a link to the shop down below or the website or the Instagram of the store um, but they're kind of like a boutique, so I don't know if they'll have another pair, but they might. I'll just leave it there if anyone is interested. Expectation versus reality. <laughs> so excited. Um, yeah, so we are gonna make turkey burgers, and then we are like, screw that, let's go to Shake Shack. So that was the healthy version, and now we're having the unhealthy version, and I can't wait. I'm so excited. I try to eat healthy, but this is like my favorite thing in the world. Like I literally can't resist it. It's so good. I cannot wait. Cheers. So good. Yes. I usually just get the Shake Shack burgers. I've had a lot of them, actually. But I'm kind of tired of being a basic bitch. So I got the, the smoke shack. Mm. Worth it. Okay, catch you after dinner, bye. We just filmed our first episode of Spritz and Chips. I think it went well. Hunter was a little nervous because he's not used to being on camera, but I think he did really good. And um, it should be live by now, like I said. So I'll have it linked below if you guys want to check it out. 
but let us know what you think and leave us a comment over there. Um, it is almost bedtime, so we're gonna go to sleep, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow's Friday, it's the end of the week, I can't wait. Good morning, kids. It is Saturday, and Hunter and I are headed to grab some lunch. He played a little flag football this morning, and we're gonna have some lunch, do a few errands for the house. I think I wanna shop um, a little bit, but it's the weekend, I'm so excited. Um, this is my visor from Walmart in the white color. How cute, right? I mean, I just think it's so fun. Anyways, I think we're gonna take some Instagram photos, go get some food, and yeah. Okay, so I'm at Forever 21, trying on a few things. Have a lot, but um, how cute is this little like lemon colored set? Sorry, you can totally see my underwear through it, but it's so cute. And it looks almost like vintage-y. Like, it's kind of like a linen material. And then it has like the lace detailing, but I think it's so cute. Such a good find. I will link it below if I can find it, but I think it's a really cute, like, two piece. I love this top, but I think I need a bigger size because it's suffocating me a little bit. But it's so cute. Looks like vintage. I love it, but I need a medium. So we're back from shopping, and I did get a few things at Forever 21. And we also got a couple of things at H&M. So I think I'm gonna do a haul on my channel. Um, this is my channel. I'm gonna do a haul, like a clothing um, haul, because I have been getting a few packages from like Princess Polly, and um, I think that's kind of it. But then I just got some stuff at Forever and H&M. So I will do a haul on that stuff um, probably this week. Um, but yeah, I think Hunter and I are gonna go on a little date night, where I think we're gonna go to our favorite um, Steakhouse in Texas, which is Bob's. If anyone knows Bob's, if you're a Texan, leave a comment down below. But it's literally the bee's knees, and we go there when we want a little treat, don't we? Yeah. Hi. Okay, well, I think. Oh, that smells so good. I think I'm gonna end the weekly vlog here. We're gonna go enjoy a date night, and then I'll probably start another weekly vlog tomorrow. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you still like the vlogs, what you're thinking, and we're signing off. Let us know. Bye. Bye.